let's crack uh, six packs of the Moonlit Savior. Uh, this is a, like a Moon Priestess Returns is a uh, set with a lot of uh, Moon uh, cards. And at some point I would like to crack more of this set. But at the same time as I crack um, more Moon Priestess, Re Moon Priestess Returns. Uh, not there yet, because as always I need to uh, have more money in my budget later on in the year. But that's, that's a plan that I have in my mind, if I can carry it out. It's an alright set. It's definitely not uh, like Battle for Atharactia or like uh, Millennia of Ages. It's got its own niche value. It's got some good fairy tales like this guy. Um, it's got reasonably good rulers as well. It's a nice foil rare stone yeah nice awakened which is like kicker Got a mana dork for moon and uh, some nice support for machines. Added resonator gains plus six plus six as long as it is with no attribute, meaning a machine. So, yeah, and it's got rock egg, so it does have some really good commons, and it's got cards that care about moon and that makes for interesting decks yeah a great card yeah very good card I think I'm gonna put it in my staples batch memory of disappearance I already have rug egg in there maybe I'll put that one as well all right yeah yeah there's there's more that I want to crack up this set into the cube but I would like to do it at the same time as I do more Moon Priestess Returns at least the next time that I get more of these packs another rock egg I should keep a count just for fun got two already yeah and it's got Peasant Revolt awesome things going on. Thumbelina. Oh great. I already have this card into the, the, the cube. But I don't mind pulling rulers. I'm never gonna say no to pulling more rulers. Not gonna say no don't give me rulers packs. Yeah. No, I do not want rulers. Instead, I'm going to say, yeah, give me some rulers. I'll take them. Yeah. Another staple in the game. for fairy tale resonators.
Yeah, I'm going to put this in my staple list. Oh, very nice. Very pretty card. Oh, wow. A second one. No foil. Very cool. Yeah, I got to crack more of this set for sure. Okay, next to the last pack. I've got two rock eggs and two Athenas. More staples. Oh, same ordering. Very interesting. Yeah, look at that. Very similar ordering. Yeah, you know that's so rare. Oh, great. Yeah. For a gold lapis. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And a foil. Okay, I've got one more pack. And interest in cracking more from this set. Nice. Be cracking good staple cards. And in the same order. Look at that. But now different. Yeah, see another another staple for the game. Of the game. This is the rare. Beautiful stone. And then a foil. Yeah, so we cracked two rock eggs. Um, a few cards that I want to add to my staple pool for when I crack the Millennia of Ages uh, box. And then these other cards. Again, not, not the type of uh, pack crack that I have when I crack Twilight Wanderer. Uh, or, of course, when I crack something like Legacy Lost or Two Towers, and of course, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to crack any more Two Towers, but I did sneak in one pack. Uh, there you have it.